Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to mine Clawcoin and I'm going to show you how to set up the wallet for Clawcoin. So firstly, we're just going to look at the website here. It says I'm Claw Blockchain, a native currency of Core AI Marketplace. We've seen these AI coins pop up all over the place and it says here that the purpose of Claw Blockchain is to reward computing power providers in the Claw AI Marketplace. Providers will be earning Claw Blockchain when they successfully rent their machines on Claw AI alongside with the bitcoins paid from the customers for computing power. So it's kind of like what Dynex does. If you know what Dynex coin is, you basically pay for a service where it's proof of useful work and people will come along with jobs that they need computing power for. And in turn, miners will use their computing power and complete these jobs and they will get rewarded for it. So they have a Claw AI marketplace, which if you click on here, you can see how much it costs, like a low price and then minutes per billing and you basically log in, you pay Claw to complete a job and that will send it to the network and then the network will use the mining power from us miners to complete these jobs. So when it comes to mining, we've got a bunch of GPUs which are profitable. I'll just let you see a little look here. We hit unprofitability at around, if we keep scrolling down, the 10 series for NVIDIA. So there's a lot of profits to be made for Claw mining. This is on 10 cents per kilowatt hour but a lot of GPUs are profitable on Claw. Obviously, we have the 4090, which is gonna be super powerful, which is gonna be basically profitable no matter what coin it's on at the moment. But let's get into actually how to mine Claw. So what we first need to do is set up a wallet. And I said at the start of the video, we were gonna show you how to set up the wallet. So you click on the download, and then you click on this folder. You click on the Claw wallet setup, and this is gonna actually start to run the Claw wallet application. It's going to come up with a Windows protector. You want to click more info than run anyway. And then it's going to open up and you basically run through this. You just want to generate your own. So you can put in a recovery phrase or enter a recovery passphrase if you already have a wallet address. But I'm just going to generate mine and blur it out. Once you've done that, it'll load up a wallet. You want to allow access. And then you want to type in a passphrase if you want. So you can type in basically a password that you want. I'm just going to type in my own one. You click confirm and it's basically gonna be like a Bitcoin core wallet. The same thing, it's just gonna update down here, but we can hide this and actually get a wallet address by here. So to actually get a wallet address for mining, we wanna click on file and then click on receiving addresses. This is gonna give us a blank page, but we need to click new and this will give us a address if we just label it, whatever we want, click okay. And here we have an address here. So now that we've got our address here, we're gonna keep this open just because we need it for actually setting up the miner later. But we first need to find a mining pool. So we go onto mining pool stats and type in claw. As you can see here, it's also run off the car power algorithm. So the actual Raven coins own one. I'm gonna do this guide with our plant pool just because it's the biggest pool and people will probably just be wanting to use that anyway. But I wanna make sure that if you can mine on other pools, you do just to share out the hash rate and make sure that this coin doesn't get a 51% attack. So when you're on our plant pool, the first thing you wanna do is click on connect. Now from here, you can choose a miner. So they've got two options. So it's wild rig and BZ miner. Today, we're gonna to be using BZ miner. So once we click that, we probably wanna click on this link here, which is the BZ miner GitHub. It will take us to the latest release. And then from here, we wanna download the latest release. So it should give you a bunch of files like this. Now they don't actually have a claw mining file on here. So we're gonna have to replace one of these files with a claw one. So if we just click on the Nexa one, we can file, edit, and then more info and run anyway. This is just gonna bring up a bunch of command line text. So we go back to our plant pool. Once we've downloaded BZ miner, choose the operating system, which is gonna be Windows for me, the nearest stratum, which is gonna be Europe. And this is where we wanna paste our wallet address in here. So we can go back to here, just copy this address, go back to our plant pool, paste our wallet address in here. You can add a worker name optionally. I'm just gonna go for my initials at SS, and then you can actually add an optional start difficulty if you really want to. But down here, it's gonna give us a minor script that we can use. I prefer to use this longer one just because it works better and there's less trouble. So we copy that and then we paste it over all this text. So just highlight that and paste, and it should be good to go. Now there's an overclock here, you can keep that on if you want, it doesn't really matter. But if you just hit exit and save, it should save the file for you. Then all you have to do is just double click this. If we rename it first, we can rename this to 
claw and then we double click it and it should start mining. You just got to allow access and then it will start mining on the two cards that you have. So I'm just going to click cancel otherwise it will stop my recording if I actually let it run. But that's how you actually set up claw mining. However, if you want to actually check on your miner, you can click onto our plant pool. You can click on my miner and it's going to be an option to input your wallet. So you just paste your wallet again. I know that this is the command line text, but we can take the wallet text out of here and then click enter. It's obviously not going to give anything for my worker right now because I haven't actually mined, but it should show your stats like your payouts per day, your hash rate and stuff like that on our plant pool. Now it does say here, do not mine directly to an exchange wallet. Uh, the exchange may be exit scammed, hacked, or change deposit addresses, or go into maintenance, change the minimum payment. So there's a lot of things that come with using an exchange wallet to mine. So I would also recommend using a wallet like the Claw wallet that they provide to you. And you can also make as many addresses as you want. As you can see here, we can make another one and it's gonna give us another receiving address. Now to send out transactions, obviously you can click send. You can pay to any address that you want and then you can put an amount here. Currently Claw coin isn't actually listed on coin market cap. So we're gonna to have to go to live coin watch. And as you can see the price here over the past seven days is shot up, which obviously leads a lot of people to start mining Claw coin. That's why we've seen many people join the network and the hash rate has gone up from there. Right now we're only sitting at a $2 million market cap, but this AI coin is probably one of the first AI coins that we're going to see shoot up. I think it's going to see probably around 60 million in the next two, three months, just because of its profitability. The hash rate is getting on the network, which will induce more price changes. As you can see here in the last 24 hours, it's gone up 58%. And if we scroll down, we can see that we can trade Claw on TXBit, BitX, 1X, and that's about it for the exchanges. I'm sure we'll see more exchanges in the future, but for now, those are the only places that you can trade Claw. So that's it for the video, guys. If you did enjoy or if you need any help setting up the Claw miner file, please leave them in the comments below, or you can shoot me a message on Twitter, or you can join the Discord. They're all linked below. I'll leave links to the wallet and the miner and the mining pool in the description below. And I'll also leave the batch file text in the description below so you can just copy it yourself and just replace the address on it.